What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I am very excited to be here today to show you guys my first impressions of the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. It came, it came? It launched? It launched about a week and a half ago. It came, it came. This came out about a week ago. Why did my voice get so high? It came out about a week ago. About a week ago. Wow. And this will be my first impression so you guys will see exactly what I went through. It was a journey. It was a journey. So keep on watching if you if, if you want to keep on watching. Just keep on watching. Wow, how did you even start this off? Cool. All right, so this is going to be my first time trying this foundation. Um, I got Toasted Coconut. This is 240N. I'm really nervous to try it out because I bought it on Sephora.com and the last time I bought the Fenty foundation by Rihanna and it was too light. So hopefully this works. Oh my god, it comes with a primer. I was I didn't buy the primer, I didn't buy the brush, right? I didn't buy the primer or the brush. So we are going to use the primer today. Ooh, I'm actually really excited because I already bought the Fenty primer, and this is such a good primer. So let's try it out. Let's see if I can open it. Shit. So here. So we're gonna take the primer, put it all over our face. I have, ooh, I feel like that was too much in one area. I've already moisturized my face. Okay, fuck it, I'm using my hands. Is this enough for two or one? Because I think this is enough for two. It smells, what does it smell of? Ooh, it's got like a perfumey scent. Cement. It's got a perfumey scent. It's like, there's a scent to it and I don't know what it is. It's like perfumey, something perfumey. Oh. All right, so I'm very excited to try this out. I have blemishes over here and I heard this is a full coverage foundation. So let's, um, let's see if that holds true. I'm gonna, I'm praying that this is my color. If it isn't, then look. All right, so this is the bottle, it is very nice. I love her packaging. It's always so luxurious and so pretty. This is 52 bucks at Sephora. Does this smell too? Does everything smell? Typically with my foundations, I mix either the MAC Strobe Cream or the Anastasia Liquid Glow. Today, I'm not gonna do that. I just wanna test out how the foundation is by itself. Um, I feel like I put too much and I also feel like it is one shade too light based on how it looks on my hand. Let's see. All right, here we go. Also, I'm not used to um, not having music playing while I'm doing my makeup, so <sighs> this is really weird for me. I'm trying to get used to this. I'm trying to get used to this. All right, I feel like that's enough. Let's blend it down onto, not in my hair, let's blend it down to my neck just a little bit. So I didn't buy her brush, but I am using the It Cosmetics buffing brush. This is what I typically use when I'm buffing out my foundation and everything. I do it in circular motions, um, counterclockwise and clockwise, just so it gives it that airbrush effect. I think it's too light. It's so light, okay. We're gonna make this work. I need to stop buying my foundations using my color match or just change my color match in general. Like, look at my arm. God, Mira, stop buying them online. All right, this is gonna work. This is hella full coverage though. Like, not that it feels really thick. I can just already tell that it's, wow, that is so light. Oh. Well, if I bought the right shade, I would really like this. I love full coverage foundations. I love anything that covers blemishes or whatever. And the L'Oreal like infallible one, the one that I wear on the on the regular, it's like inexpensive, but it does its job, you know? Um, what I also look for in foundations is if they, um, oh, I'm saying I'm a lot. What I also look for in foundations is if they control my oil because I get so oily. Holy shit, that is so light. Whatever. We're just gonna, we're gonna deal. All right. 
All right. Wow, I look like such a ghost. Oh, that's so funny. I also think that my the concealer that I use, it's Tarte Shape Tape in medium. I actually think it's gonna be too dark for this um, this foundation. I'm determined. I'm actually determined. I'm saying this with like a fucking pale ass face right now, but I'm determined. It's gonna work. Also because my ass is too lazy to go back to Sephora and be like, yo, got the wrong shade. We are just gonna take this damp beauty blender and just buff it out, hopefully. It's, it's sitting nicely on my face. It doesn't feel too heavy, but um, I just hope it does its job of controlling my oil. I think that's my main concern. Um, if you aren't used to full coverage foundations, this might be very heavy for you, but for me, I think it like, it feels really nice. It just, everything smells. It's very perfumey. I don't know. If it's, I think it's just a primer. I wonder if there's perfume. Oh, there is, there's perfume in here. There's fragrance. Wow, I look like a ghost, okay. We're gonna make this work. It's gonna be so funny. Yo, I'm way too brown for this. Look at my arm. That's so funny. Okay, all right. Yo, that's too dark. No. I have another Tarte Shape Tape that I can use to make it a little bit lighter to blend in with the lightness that we're doing. There we go. All right, all right, all right. We got this, we got this. We got this, fam. We got this. All right, so when I blend out my concealer, I use this NYX buffing brush. This is actually for your eyes, but I like to use it again in circular motions like I would my foundation brush and just brush it into my skin. It helps it not crease under the eyes. And it also, I have some like blackheads and like larger pores around here. So when I buff it in like that, it looks like very airbrush. Very nice. All right. The more it sits on my skin, the more I feel like it could be my color. Am I that light? Nope, still, no, it doesn't work. I'm trying to justify this. I'm trying to be lazy and just not go get my foundation color. Oh my god. Oh, that's like the biggest frustration. Stop buying foundations online, Mira. Good. So this process actually takes like a little bit longer just because it's a smaller brush. It's very dense and you have to use, you have to just continuously go in circular motions. But the end product is very good. So, still, still look very ghostly. Fuck. Oh man. It feels very nice on the skin, but if you are not used to full coverage foundations, this will be very heavy, in my opinion. And this is from someone that wears full coverage foundations a lot. I like it though. It feels good. Let's warm up my face, how about that? Let's first set my face and then warm up my face with some bronzer because my face really, really needs it right now. All right, so I'm just gonna take some translucent powder. This is the It Cosmetics translucent powder. I'm just going to dab it into where I put my concealer. <laughs> So I just pretty much try and concentrate my translucent powder to where I put my oil, where I put my oil, where I get the oiliest. Hideot, hideoting them. All right, um, I'm just gonna take this powder that is typically what I use, it's by NYX. All right, all right, all right. We're getting, we're getting back our skin color. Man, I need a. I'm so mad. I'm so mad. <laughs> Let's use some bronzer to darken up our face now. I. F I want this to work so bad.
I tried. I don't know if, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Damn, homie. I know it's too light. I know, I know. It's okay, it's okay. We'll just exchange it, it's fine. It's very light. All right, so my verdict on this foundation, I absolutely love it in terms of the coverage, in terms of how it feels on my face. It doesn't feel sticky, it doesn't feel too heavy. And this is coming from someone that wears full coverage foundations often. Um, the only thing I'm pissed off about is that it's not my shade. And if this can be a lesson to anyone, it's don't buy your foundations online or switch up your Sephora ID or your like color match ID so that you get the shade that actually is yours. All right, so I really like the foundation. Um, the primer has, it's, it's very good. It reminds me of the Fenty primer. It has a scent to it, um, which was very surprising for me. I'm not mad that there was scent in it. I don't know why I said the date has a scent to it. It has a scent to it, that's all. If you, if you aren't used to scents in your primers like it, it just has a scent um i didn't buy the brush so i can't give you a review on the brush i'm sure it is a phenomenal brush because all of her products are very very good um i will return this foundation and get my shade that is the moral of the story i'm not gonna throw the bottle i gotta return it come on all right guys that is the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i will try and make some more youtube videos let me know in the comments below if you try this foundation what your thoughts are and everything and i will hopefully make more videos um i'm gonna try to this is this is kind of new for me I'm just trying to get into it i'm trying to get into it um i put a lot more of my stuff on instagram so be sure to follow me on at lash bosses and i'm on twitter i'm on facebook and everything so Let's connect, let's be friends, and with that, I am out.